It may be new, but it's, it's old. Hallelujah, because it's the same word that was from the beginning. That's why we need to continually follow along in our Bibles and believe. Amen. Amen. Matthew 4, 23. Listen. And Jesus went about in Galilee teaching in their synagogue. See, it, it, I had somebody the other day take me on the chin and say, you can't teach healing. And I said, well, what have you been taught? Come on. <laughs> you understand what I mean? I can tell you he hasn't been at a place. Because everything we ever learned about salvation, yeah. healing, and deliverance, yeah. we've been taught here. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I think it's a wonderful thing that we teach it and everybody learns and it's just not a one-man show. Amen. See, I know that there's one thing that burns inside the heart of every believer. They want to be used of God. Amen. They're not looking for no glory points of who it is. and so They just want to be used of God. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. You remember the Lord, he confirms the word with signs following. Yes, right. We sure do have a lot of noisemakers today, don't we? Amen. We have a lot of people that echo a lot of people too, don't we? But we see very little confirmation Amen. of the belief. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It's just a viable part of the gospel that we cannot escape. Amen. Teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom Look what he did. Teaching in their synagogues. Is that right? And preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing all manner of sicknesses. And all manner of diseases among the people. I mean, personally, I kind of like it that we walk in, in divine health around here. I, I really do. I kind of like it. Hallelujah. I mean, I can actually honestly, truly say, and y'all confirm this word with a loud hallelujah or amen if it's true. If it's false, don't say nothing so that the people that may see this video or may hear this word, they'll know if either I'm a liar, jack leg, or I'm telling the truth. Is that right? Is that right? We don't have one person here on prescription drugs. Is that not beautiful? And we, we, are we talking about just 50 something outcast of the earth? Hallelujah. And how old is, um, how old is a little bit back there, Sister Deborah? Four months old. And how old are you, Mother Stalin? 80 years old. Glory to Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. From four months old to 80 years old, not one person. I kind of like it like that. So there's somebody that do know him. And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they bought unto him all sick people. Y'all hear this? That were taken of divers, that means various, diseases and torment. And those which were possessed, y'all hear that? With devils. And those that were possessed with devils. And those that were lunatic. Y'all hear that? Yes, Lunatics mean uh, epileptics. Okay? And those that had palsies or, or what's it, par paralytics? Yeah. And he healed them. And he did what? He them. So he was teaching, he was preaching, and then he was healing. That's right. Isn't that right? Yes, now here's Jesus. You know, we often hear what would Jesus do? teaching and preaching and healing and then he turns around and gives the same power to the disciples tells us do the same thing so shouldn't we be following this are we not direct representatives or ambassadors of the kingdom of God hallelujah so the ministry of Jesus Christ is preaching teaching healing and casting out devils is that right now men have changed their positions however but God hasn't changed he's still the same is that right Amen. He is operating in his church. And the truth is, people actually need to find out who those few people are yes, and do everything they can to get around them. Because if you continue on with these dead institutions and being religion and stuff, you're going to end up in the same place as blind people leading the blind.